Good afternoon. I'll just adjust this up. Oh, yay. Good afternoon, everyone. So tonight, today, we're going to have a very quick look at um, back office and how you set up your LRP. So it's one of those things that once you've done it once or twice, super easy. Um, just give it a go. And if you do get stuck, just get in touch with me. So what I'm going to do is share my screen, if this will work for me. Share. Thank you very much. Alrighty. Now here we go. So when this finally comes up for us, here we go. So we're going to have a look at the back office training here. Um, first thing to remember is how to get into it. So there's three ways depending on where you're located. In Australia, we go to www doterra.com.au uh, and just click on the login button. Uh, on here you'll also see information about our products. Um, you can get in there information about compliance, um, how to word things correctly. There's lots of information on our website. Make sure you explore it. We've also got the American website. So that's just doterra.com. Same way in you'll notice up the top it says US. And we've got our New Zealand website. So if you're in New Zealand, you do .com.nz. So they all look fairly similar, all straightforward to get into. It doesn't matter. And even if you're in any of those sites, you can still log into yours. As soon as you click log in, it'll take you in. Sometimes it will make bring you up to this extra screen where um, it asks you to log in here. So you literally put in your doTERRA ID, put in your password and click on submit. So when you first get into your back office, this is the page you come to. Um, up the top there, you'll see your name and your user ID and also what country you're in. Down here, if these are different tabs you can go through. So today we're basically just going to be going through the shop tab and showing you how to set up a new LRP template. In this section here shows you what the specials are. So the special for the month of February when I took these screenshots was Passion um, and you've got 10% off that. And the product of the month that month was fractionated coconut oil. So when you set up a new LRP template or set up a LRP template and you order um, over 125 points worth of product, and we'll have a look at those in a moment, then once you've done that, whatever the product of the month is automatically added to your cart. Super easy. Down the bottom here is where you can get in to look at the different oils, um, all the different products, but we'll go into that in a minute. Over on the top area here is depending on we, what you're wanting to order. So um, you can either order from Australia or if you're in Australia, you can also order from the States. I'll often do um, a States order as well as an Australian order because I can get samples from America, um, which is really handy which we don't have in Australia yet, but today we're going to set up an Australian uh, LIP template. So just click on Australian products, which you will generally be in if you've logged into Australia. If you've logged in in the US, it will automatically be on the US, same with New Zealand. So from here, we just look at the bottom. Now there's two ways. If you're wanting to do a one-time order where you don't earn points, um, you can click on the one-time button, put in an order the same way as we'll do soon and ship it now. No issues at all. If you're wanting to basically set up a template and think of it like like a shopping list. You can put in there things that you want to get each month just before it's going to go out. Two days before you'll get an email saying, do you remember you've got these things ordered? You can go in and adjust it. You can then ship it straight away or do it later and then just change it up for the following month. It's just like a running list and there's things like I get almost every other month, um, the hand soaps, the, wash, the laundry detergent is just beautiful. So there's often things that you're wanting to replace at all new oils you're wanting to try. So we're going to click on creating a new LRP template and always set it for between the 2nd and the 15th of the month. I actually prefer, I'd rather err on the side of caution and do it between the 10th and the 15th of the month. That way, it gives you a chance at the beginning of the month to see what the specials of the month are and work out if it's something you really want. And if it is, then you'll always find ways to make sure that you've got enough points to get that, um, that special. So oh, I'll just go back. And then down the bottom, after you've clicked on the date, so we'll select the 10th here, you then click down the bottom to add products to your cart. 
Once you've done that, up in the top right corner, you'll see that it says that it's now creating a new LRP template. So you can see that's happening. Um, it's in American date format, not Australian. So this is actually going to go out on the 10th of February, 2018, not um, the 2nd of October. So just don't get caught out there and think you wonder what's going on. Up the top is a way that you can go into different areas if you know that you'd like something and the same as the item search bar. But generally, I just click on essential oils. So I'll click down the bottom and then it gives you other options. So you can go into single oils, oil blends, on guard, ice blue range. If you scroll down, you can go into the homewares things. But once you click on single oils, it literally runs through all of the different oils that are a single oil. So say we're wanting bergamot this month, you literally click on add to cart and then it'll put it in there for you. Um, this is up here is another area where you can jump between. So you might want to change to oil blends or at the on guard range as well. Once you've got some things in your cart, it shows you a running total. So at the moment it's saying only one thing um, and it just keeps it up going there for you. Once you've filled your cart and you've got things, a few things in there that you're wanting to get, you can click on review cart and here it's showing you. So down the bottom, you've got your PV. So this is, if you look just above it, you'll see a little column that says PV. That's showing how many points you get for each oil. So the eucalyptus oil is 16.50 PV and you pay $18 for it. So it adds up the PV down, running down the side and it shows you at the bottom. So because I've got this amount of PV, it means when I go to check out, it will automatically add the oil of the month to my cart, which is great. Shows you your subtotal and it tells you if you've used any points so far, which I haven't. Up the top, it's telling you the date that the order will process. And here it shows you that if you do have points available, it opens up these buttons and I could select one of these to actually use my points, which are down the bottom, to pay for an oil as opposed to actually physically paying for it. But because I'm probably wanting the oil of the month, I will just leave it at that one there. Down here, it's showing you what your rewards points are. And as you can see, they do build up very quickly if you order each month. And the line underneath an AR balance is what your commission is. So if you've got any money, it's sort of like your doTERRA bank account. Um, if I've got money sitting there each month, I just apply it to, so to my oils and then I only pay the balance. The only difference is when you click on this and apply it, you actually have to egg, like um, ship it straight away. So if you're not ready to ship it and you're just wanting to um, leave it sit there for a couple more days, just make sure you click on save changes. That one is critical because the first few times I did it, I could not figure out what I was doing wrong. I'd go in and change it. I'm too used to Google and everything automatically saving for me. I wasn't clicking save changes. So you can click save changes and then continue shopping. Um, or, but as soon as you click save changes, it'll come up here saying your changes have been, been saved and that's done. And you can then, it will then process it for you on the 10th of that month. If you don't want it to process on the 10th and you do want it to ship, straight away, you can click on this little button up here that says ship now. It takes you back into that same screen. And so from here, you could just click continue. So before we could have just done continue instead of clicking save changes, um, and it would have done the same thing, but I was just trying to make the point to make sure you click save changes. Once you've clicked continue, it brings up your order to review. It shows you what's being shipped and the date that they're shipping it. So I was, that was on the 5th, I was gonna do that. Um, that month happened to be the month that was changed, adding my membership renewal again. And so that put the $25 on my account. But also when it does that, it um, sends me a bottle of peppermint oil, which is always fantastic. And it's one of the oils I use all the time. So yeah, and the peppermint oil is valued at around $26. So it's a very excellent renewal as far as I'm concerned. All right, so now you come over here and you can click process order now. Even from this point, if you not want to decide, no, I don't want it to go out yet, I want it to go out on the, the 10th, you could literally click on process on the 10th. So once you've clicked process order now, it will go ahead 
Down the bottom of this screen, it shows you that this same order will repeat again the following month, so the 10th of March. Basically, that's fine, just leave it, and then once it, the order's gone through, you can go back in and just adjust it, and I'll show you how to do that as well. So once you've gone processed, it says, thank you for your order, it's now being processed, and we will get it, get it out to you as quickly as possible, and you'll get an email to say that's gone as well. So once you get back to this screen, you can check that the shipment date has changed. So that's now changed to the 10th of the 3rd. So nothing's going to happen on the 10th of the 2nd again. It's all been updated to the following month for you. Now, either that day or you can leave it there till early in the next month. You can come back in and anytime you want to edit what you're going to order for the following month, all you do is click on this little green button, button here. So you can go in and edit it. It shows you that's the date that it was going to happen and shows you the oils that were there from last month. So now what I generally do is actually delete all bar one. I'll always leave one there. Um, it's easier to do it that way, add everything else you want and then delete the last item that you're not wanting. Just makes it simpler. And once you've deleted them all, you click on continue shopping. It will take you back to your normal screen where you can choose whatever oils you're, you're after. Once they've been all put in, go back in and review it and make sure you hit save changes. So that's the most important thing to do. Um, just a couple of tips. Always place the order between the 2nd and the 15th of the month, especially in Australia and New Zealand. If you're in the States, it's all good. You can go on the 1st of the month. But because we're a day behind or a day in front, um, we have to wait till the second, otherwise if we order on the first, you'll actually technically be in the previous month. So always set it for minimum the, seven, the second, but I'd normally do it the 15th and just process the order early. Uh, remember, if your points value, your PV is over 125, you're eligible for the free product of the month. If your order is between one and 50 PV, so say you don't want too much this month, but you don't want to lose your LRP because what happens is each month it builds up. So in your first three months, you're at 10%, then you go to 15% of points back from what you order. So between one and 50 PV, you keep your points. Between 50 and 100 or 99, you add to your points. So any 10%, 15%, 20%, all up to 30% of your product you earn back in points gets added to your account as well as your shipping. So remember, in Australia, it's $7.95 for shipping. We get eight points put back onto our account. So it's a really fantastic way of getting free oils. If your order is over 100 PV, you start earning commission on your orders. Um, but the biggest thing to remember is saving your LRP after you change it. Otherwise, yes, it will drive you crazy because it did to me. Um, and always remember and go in before the next due date. You will get an email reminder. So don't worry that you've forgotten, you will be emailed, but just double check that. I normally, when the email comes through at the beginning of the month, or I'm actually always looking to see what the product of the month is going to be anyway, um, changing it then, and I normally set my orders to ship on about the third, normally. But if all else fails, call me, um, or send me a message, and I will get onto it for you, okay? Well, I think that's it. And let me just get out of here again. So that's pretty much it. So just take it easy. If you've got any questions about it, get in touch, leave a comment below, I'll get back to you. And um, yeah, it's a real no brainer. It's a great idea. And it's the best way to get your oils for free. Alrighty, see you later.